Hey everybody, Ben here with We Go Fishing, and in today's project we're going to do something I've been wanting to do for a little while because if you've watched the videos, you know that we go beach fishing, surf fishing a lot. It's one of our favorite types of fishing. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to build a rear uh, trailer hitch fishing rod holder. And I've been looking for them online. They're quite expensive if you look for them, especially the custom ones, but there was a major problem with all the ones I saw. And the problem was you can't lower your tailgate of your trailer. And so when you're, when you're on the beach and you want to get your, your cooler out or whatever, um, you couldn't lower your tailgate. So I said, that's a problem that's not going to work for me. So what I found, and this is what I'm going to show you how to build and put all this together, and I'll tell you what you need in just a minute. But I found this at uh, Harbor Freight, and it's about $50, and it's an ATV car carrier, about 300 pound capacity. What I'm actually going to do, though, is if you notice in the picture how it rises up, I'm going to flip that and make it so it actually lowers down. And the reason why I'm going to do that is so I can actually drop my tailgate down when I go out onto the beach and I can still lower my tailgate, get my cooler and things like that. Alright, so here are the things that you're going to need for the project. First of all, obviously you're going to need the cargo carrier. Um, I, like I said, I got this from Harbor Freight. You can get probably one similar. If you have a Harbor Freight, they ship, I'm sure. But you need that. Um, you're going to need PVC pipe, and this is 2 inch PVC pipe. Might be a little overkill, uh, but I want to make sure my rod is secure. So I'm going to use 2 inch uh, PVC pipe for this project. And the other thing you're going to need is U-bolts. And you're going to get U-bolts, and I'll put all the, the sizes and all that um, in the description below, but U-bolts are going to be the other thing that you're going to need for this project. So just those three things. And if you want, I've got some black spray paint here, um, and this will help just the look of it um, because, I don't know, it's just makes it look a little better. So black spray paint if you want it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this thing together and get this project started. You also got to see one of my tool hacks where I take my wrenches and I put them on uh, the clip. Uh, that helps them from uh, flopping around in the tool bucket. I'll let you see now. I'm on the back of the truck. What we got going on here? Now on the back of the truck, we have the, the rack, and we can actually now drop the tailgate and still have the rack there, even with the Yeti on top of it. Um, if I put the, the case there, it should work as well. So we'll be able to do that. So we will drop the thing. Now we're going to go ahead and cut the PVC pipes and paint them. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the PVC into 40 inch pieces. I've chosen 40 because I bought a section of 10 foot PVC pipe, so I'm going to cut it into three 40 inch sections. <laughs> take our U-bolts and we're going to draw holes into the PVC pipe to insert the U-bolts in. And here's how I'm going to do it. First of all, I'm going to use my tape measure and I'm going to come three inches up off of, drop my tape measure. I'm going to come three inches up off of the bottom of the pipe and I'm going to mark it there and I'm going to drill my first hole. Karen's going to help me. Hold the pipe. Let's go over it so that we don't drill a hole into our box. Make sure your drill is as uh, what do you want to call this? Level. Make sure your drill is as level as possible. And go all 
the way through. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my U-bolt and I'm going to set that in that hole. And I'm going to use my marker again to mark that second hole so that I'm making sure that it's where it should be. And then I'm going to drill my second hole. Be able to take my U-bolt, put it into the holes that I pre-drilled, take my plate, and come over to the trailer. See, I've already got one of them on in the middle. And I'm going to start on the bottom and attach my U-bolt here. Okay, so I've got the first one in, and I'm going to tighten it down more in just a minute. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark my holes for my second U-bolt because I'm going to put two of them on and I'll and tighten them all the way down. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to kind of come around the post with my U-bolt and then make the marks on the paint since I've already painted them. That'll be my marks there. And I'll take my drill again, keeping it as level as possible, going into the pole. Just like so, take the new bolt and go in right to the holes that you've made. Just like that. Take the plate on the back once again. And tighten them down. If you want to show them the other ones, what I'm doing with the plates on the other side of the other, the one I've already put on, what I'm doing with the plates is tightening them down so that they bend around that post. Um, and that'll keep them nice and secure so that they're not going to go anywhere. And so one of the other benefits of having this and, and having it in this way is you can actually drop your tailgate down, you can sit here, and there's your rods right in front of you. Um, so it makes it very easy uh, to do surf fishing this way. And this would be a nice custom trailer, I think, for us on the beach when we go surf fishing. Very easy project, easy to do, also very inexpensive. I think this whole setup is going to cost maybe around 60 or 70 bucks, uh, depending on the U-bolts and things like that but very inexpensive, easy for anybody to do. It only takes a couple of hours and you can do it yourself. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you do that already. Like the video as well, that really helps us out. Leave me a comment below, uh, let me know what you think about it. And we'll see you in the next video. All right, so if you stuck around to the end of the video, I wanna show you a couple of things that I did off camera that I think will just kind of put the finishing touches on the, on the rig. First of all, you see that I only did two fishing rod holders. Um, the reason for that is I've only got two surf rods, so there's really no point in me putting on more. If I get more surf rods, then I'll be able to put on uh, um, more surf rod holders. Um, there's plenty of room for you. You can put them on the sides if you want. The other thing I did was I used bolt cutters uh, to cut off the backs of the screws um, so they wouldn't stick out as much, and then you can take like a, a file and just file that down so there's no, no sharp edges on those. That'll allow you to get a ratchet on there if you want to move them. Um, that sort of thing just to make life a little bit easier. The last thing I did off camera is put reflective tape on um, because you know if you're trailering at night uh, somebody will be able to see that and uh, hopefully then avoid hitting <laughs> your fishing rack. Thanks for watching again. Appreciate you all and uh, check out our new videos.